to bring us up to full date last week, and this is, I'm not even going to say this is a humble brag because this is a straight up brag. So last six days ago, we were able to take possession of a brand new Augusta 139 helicopter. They surprised me that night. We don't have one helicopter. We have two helicopters. The haters are going to see a plane and two helicopters and hate. But you know, I see things differently. Woman behind the man. I see when I see that. I see enough right decisions. I see courage, I see ethics, I see integrity, I see never giving up, fighting for what you want, believing in, fighting for what's right. I see an American dream, I see an audacity and, and the insanity to even think that you could go for greatness and yet it can be had. That's what I see. I see avoiding enough of the wrong mistakes to make it go right. I see sacrifice. I see a representation of success. That's what I see when I see a plane and two helicopters. Massive action. And do you know why we were able to do all of this since the last time we last adjourned? And this is the secret to our success. This is that cliffhanger I was telling you about. Do you know why? Does anyone want to guess? I'll tell you why. It's because my husband, Grant Cardone, is a bad ass. Straight up badass, my husband always delivers what's promised and more. He never lets us down. He will never let you down. And it doesn't matter the level of pressure he is under. He will get the job done. It doesn't matter if he's scared or in pain or in grief. He has courage. He makes decisions rapidly, swiftly, with confidence and certainty. He's a leader. He's a badass. And if you don't have badass on your bucket list, shame on you. A badass, by definition here, is a formidably impressive in person, excellent, tough, uncompromising or intimidating person. Now, I didn't like the intimidating part when I first read it. And then I thought about this. Because Grant is all of that. Do you think he's a little intimidating? It's very intimidating. My God, I still walk on eggshells around him. It isn't intimidating in the fact that you're mean or rude to people. That is not a badass. It's not about smoking a cigarette and being like, like the mall bro cool. That's not a badass. A badass doesn't make people feel bad. A badass intimidates people because being in the presence of a badass, you, are, you know you are now responsible for holding yourself in a competent matter. You are expected to deliver at a rate that you didn't even know you could do yourself. When you're in the presence of a badass, you must rise to the occasion and be ready 24-7, period. And that's why being a badass makes people intimidated. It isn't just a saying that you throw around. It's, it's from continuously, over and over and over again, delivering. And it's about putting yourself into circumstances and situations where you have to deliver under pressure. It's about being able to assess a situation rapidly and read what needs to happen and make a decision that fast. That's badass. Anyone that's built anything, you will see that one common thread in common. So I used to call it become an asset, but like, does that impinge? No, I'm changing it. So become a badass. We are at Operation 10X Badass. We're learning leadership, confidence, competency, accuracy, speed, power, and empowerment all over. 
We want to be able to be in a situation, whether that be in work, and know how to handle it. Spend the weekend with Elena and learn all the things that she's learned through tactical training as a badass mom, a badass businesswoman, a badass wife, and that I could take that back with me. Man, we got here by way of the Cardone helicopter, okay? Operation 10X Badass is a go. Yeah.